Hello Taurus, thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia coming to you from my kitchen slash dining area. My office got turned into a winter garden. So I'm still organizing, but I may be here for the winter. <laughs> this is your December love rating. I did a 2024 predictions um, reading. Um, I also did a video on regaining your telepathy because we're, we're regaining our telepathy. Humans are realizing just how psychic we really are um, without any more rambling here we go cards are pre-shuffled to save time ahead of your reading is the page of cups new realities you're the artist with a clean canvas ace of swords true cutting battle leg and cancer energy Pisces energy, Leo energy, the sun, and the nightmare card. What the heck? Eight of pentacles. Uh, those are little kittens running back and forth. <laughs> if you hear pitter-patter of people's feet, they're in their playtime. It's six in the morning, for heaven's sakes. Strength at the heart of your reading. That's a major arcana along with the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. Leo, Taurus energy, Leo here, Cancer here. Major Arcanas, boom, these two and these two. Ten of Pentacles, King of Cups, Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles and the king of pentacles. Well, that'd be you, wouldn't it? We're talking about love. There's an offer coming in. Um, this feels like a cutting of the past. That You know, those loose ends that needed to be tied up got tied up. And you are racing to your destiny. And... Don't it look beautiful, but you're fearing the worst. Oh, this looks too good to be true. Satin, satin, not right. Satin, not right. But see, this is all in your head. And as I've said um, more recently and often, we have never uh, been in control of our own minds. We are just learning to take control of our own minds. So, you're mastering it, learning to master it, learning to master, wielding this sword of truth, getting the birds on view, seeing way past the horizon because you are on a higher conscious level. This is higher consciousness. You have the keys to those Akashic records, the gateway into the Hall of Records. Ask and you will receive an answer. This is about taming the beast within. Taking control of your own mind. Releasing the... And knowing when to release that beast. Okay, it's time to release the hounds. And when to keep it in check. You're mastering. You've mastered this. This is moving you towards what Doris really desires. And this is a completion. This is looking farther ahead. And as this is a love reading, this person you retire with, for most of you, you will know them in December. Meet them in December. Perhaps you're already with them. There is that potential of long-term retirement. Where you have it all. The family, the kids, the grandkids. Loyal. Loyalty. This offer is coming to you.
this person is one that is re reciprocal equal give and take this person this is unconditional love deep wise love this person has wisdom male female doesn't matter look at how ancient this looks down here with the kings the hierophant look right down here right down the middle with the the chariot the sun and now the ten of cups is emotional fulfillment within the home so you've got both the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles truly that's what Taurus desires home is everything this is also a very strong feeling I'm getting Taurus that not because you're an earth heavy energy the ox right heavily grounded to earth energy the earth is shifting changing we're going through <clears throat> like i mentioned that video i did on um regaining your telepathy is right there in the cups that's spiritual there is an offer coming in that brings more stability an offer coming in we have a clean canvas here. All right, December. Maybe that's what this is about. Ending the new year, the final cutting of the tying up loose ends for 2023 and going into 2024 with a new canvas to paint your reality. Let's clarify this. Standing your ground. You, you may have some demands made on you or just many people saying this is the way you should think Taurus no I think this way no I think this way no you should think this way you're standing your ground well you're a bull you're very capable of standing your ground nine of wands now usually this card tells me that you are checking the thermometer on your energy do I have the strength can I take on can I fight this final battle to win the war and you know you do you absolutely know you do. That final cut to freedom. Ooh, maybe this is a maybe this is a residual remnants energies from my twenty twenty four reading I did. Four of Swords. This is healing energy. This feels like, now this is really fast. This is really fast. You are laying to rest the past. Ready to paint the future. This is very healing energy. This is the discovery of what you thought you lost. So for some of you who are desiring reconciliation, uh, you have that, if that's what you want. What you thought you lost is not lost. It's still there waiting for you. And this is the happiest card in the deck. As destitute or desolate, de I oh, can't think. Desolate as this looks. It's still there for you. That value of you, yours, has not gone away. Maybe the nightmare card is that, okay, I've cut off from someone in the past and they, they might be back. Or maybe some of you are, it, some okay, some of you who have broken with someone from the past that came back, 
that, you know, causes you worry, concern, nightmarish, remembering things that weren't so good. For some of you, this is, will I ever be able to reconcile with my, my love? So there is this opportunity. They're coming back. So if some of you are worried that they'll never come back, um, they're coming back. And for some of you who are worried about them coming back, not wanting them to come back, uh, you're overly worried. You're, you're too much in your mind. Here's your good opportunity to master your own mind instead of being controlled by outside forces, whether that be people, energies, television, um, the internet, whatever. Yeah. There you are, independent. You know, people get spooked about that Nine of Pentacles because she's she's single, she's independent, and you know, you're you're coming to this reading for a love reading, and it's not because you want to be single. But this is a an independent energy that is not bothered about singularity. They're just being themselves. And you've mastered, are mastering being yourself. It could be that a Virgo is coming into your life. This really feels like mastery over your own mind. Like, holy cow, are you going to spearhead us into 2024 with these changing energies? We're like babes right now, just starting to remember our abilities. But you're really shining here. Oh, there's commitment, marriage, long term. Is it with a Leo? This indicates a very strong, powerful relationship. one of give and take they'll they'll give as good as they get perhaps they have the keys to your heart no and it, look how that landed right above here do not be deceived and this is landing under that nightmarish unsure who you are on which side you're on in these energies tours for December but again this feels like the control of the mind do not deceive yourself you will see the truth even if others are saying no this is the truth Taurus you'll see it Knight of Wands one you thought was a player isn't playing they're just passionate about you this is about the removal of blocks the anything blocking your road your path is being removed that can also mean that it is the removal of this blockage is you know who is the player and who is being deceptive or maybe you were deceiving yourself thinking they were the player when they actually have a very deep love it may just be playful how does this apply for you, Taurus? This is Sagittarius and Scorpio energy. It strongly feels like because of these energies that the blockages to this immense love, if you haven't met, met them yet, are being removed in December. new love or the rebirth of a current love from one to the ten this is also about being divinely blessed from above my cup overfloweth with love and we have collaboration here the blueprint you and this love of yours in December 
are laying the groundwork, the plan for going forward. They will be re receptive. They will have some good ideas. It may be you that is maybe being a little too stubborn. I'm not really getting that. But sort of maybe for some of you. Maybe for only one of you. Listen to what they have to say again. They have your best interest at heart. Again. Again. I have to say. Trust no one. But be open to discussion. Hmm. Wow. Powerful. Strength card again. Leo energy. An offer coming in that is not just going to bring stability. But look, you've got the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. That stability. You're going to be strongly anchored into this new reality you're wanting to create. There might be a little conflict over it, Taurus. But this seems to be your destiny. This powerful, strong, balanced commitment. A little bit of a rough moment with deception, but it could be you deceiving yourself, thinking this person is a player that is not. Then again, maybe this is about breaking with the past of the deceptions of being with people who were players. You've mastered who you are, what you deserve. Amen to that. I hope that helped. Thanks for joining me. Check out the website. I've done, I'm playing there with astrology. Um, winter is coming up, so I'll be doing winter readings over there as well as uh, astrology write-ups. And other things I think of that I want to play with. So do check it out at thejourneyhome.ca or get a personal reading. Thanks for joining me. God bless. Bye for now.